So now let's write a basic Axios. So for that we'll write an inside the script tag. Let's call it Axios dot get request. So actually we are doing a get request here, right? For example, localhost yes axios slash data dot php now i want to bring this data into our console so into javascript so what i'm going to do is let me go and copy that url where the data is there come here paste it here now let's then run a function once we are getting that result let's take that result which will come as a response like this. Let's console it and see what happens. And so, so now let me go to Chrome. Let me go to Chrome and go to our web page. I'll open the, you can you open the console, developer console in Chrome using right click in like this. Now let's keep our console like this. And now there is nothing there. Let me go to the network tag. And if I'm entering it, can you see there is a request going to the data.php and the response is HTML. So let's come to the console. Can you see here? The Axios has sent a get request to this, this particular URL. This the URL is nothing but this is the URL. Can you see this? This is the URL. And we get the data here. So we get it as a associative, uh, for example, an object. In that there is an configuration is there there is headers there there is a request is there and the status of the request is 200 so that means the status is successful data attribute is there so let's do one thing now let's create a small let me put it as an h2 h3 tag like this let me put it as an id as name keep it like that the moment we get a data back I, I want to get the only the data attribute for example when you went there you can see here data attribute is there status is this so in the response is nothing but it is an object with all these things but i want only data so what i'm doing is when i'm sending a request to that take the data whatever is it's returning and bring it as a response a response will be having multiple attributes from that i'm only picking the data and consoling it so now we are printing it into the console let's do something let's put it in here whatever we are fetching it we will bring it in here so what we will do is like document dot get elements by id so what the element name is name dot inner html is equal to response dot data let's see what happens now i'm going here i'm refreshing it you can see get element id is not a function so let's see document dot get element by id okay there is a small typo you need to put it as id id should be like this so let me go and refresh it can you see here whatever we the data was there in the data dot php that data we are bring it here and printing here so now this is a very simple operation. You, you can bring the data like this and print it like that. Let's see if the data.php is not having data. Let's send it as a PHP. So let's put it into a PHP. Now let's echo it. Hello world. Okay. Now let's do the same thing and see. It's bringing like that. Same way you have to test it like this also. It's bringing the PHP command. So let's put an array, keep it like, let's keep it as data, simple array or anything you can keep it as like uh, items. Let's keep a array. So for example, you are having an e-commerce website and you are fetching the database and you are getting the list of list of products. So let's keep it like a product will be having an ID, let it be one. A product will be having a name let it be flask it will be having a price price let it be 100 fine so let's copy this and replicate it like 
1, 2, 3. So totally that is 4 products here. Let's change the product to 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's make some space. Flask, cooker, thermo, stat. Um, I'm a buy, keep it like this. 100 and 111, 200, 150. Like this, we'll do it. Now let's echo this item and see what answer we get. Let's go to the same data.php, enter it. You can see there is nothing, an array is coming because you cannot print an array using echo. So you need to, there is a special function in PHP called print r. Okay, now let's go to the same code and refresh it. Can you see the array has been printed like this? So we want this array in JavaScript. So in the console, we want it here. So we cannot take it like this. So we need to convert it into a format, which is JSON encode. Like this, you can JSON encode. And we let's do a print and see. Can you see this? Now, this is a good code, like where when you request to this thing, we are getting a data. And let's see what data we'll get it in JavaScript. Let's go to the index.php. Let's disable this line once. Let's print it and see what answer we get. Console.log, I want the response data. So if I'm visiting like this, let me go to this. Let me refresh it. So when I refresh it, can you see here? We are getting a array in JavaScript format. So when you go to network tag data, the request is going to the data tag. It's a get request. Status code is 200. That means it's working perfectly. So we get a response that is as a JavaScript array. Now let's do sit simple stuff. Let's use the same JavaScript in order to print something here right let's i want to get the list of uh, all the names like that we can use normal javascript itself let's let me take this off so i got a data so let me put it into a let me assign a variable called where items now it is the empty array so whenever i'm getting a request i want to store that items equal to response dot data so now after this request is done i'm getting items array now let's form a so a simple way because till now you might have understood what is axios you can request and get a data or you can save a data for example now this is a get request you very well know how a get request works so now next we can do a post request. 